everyone, this is Julia from Green Umbrella Marketing and today I'm going to show you how to find out if you have fake people following your account on Twitter. So there's some free software that you can use to actually find out who is fake. But before I do that, I just want to show you the reasons why you want to eliminate all those fake people uh, within your account. So the first thing is if you're going over to uh, your analytics, let me just show you on Twitter. If you have a percentage of people who are actually fake, so you've got these like spam robots that are constantly following your account, then your demographics uh, that influences your advertising, it influences when you post, all that sort of thing, completely goes out the window if you have a high percentage of people that are fake that are following you. Okay, so it's really important to make sure that you have you know a good quality audience that, that is following you. To find out that audience, all you have to do is go to analytics.twitter.com uh, and if you look in the audiences here, then you'll find out uh, who your followers are and the demographics that they are and age group, group and that sort of thing. But obviously, you know, you might have like thousands of people that are following you from outside your regular demographic and a lot of those might be spam accounts. Okay, so let me show you how to actually find your fake score. So I want you to go head on over to fakers.statuspeople.com and then all it does is it asks you to connect to your Twitter account. So if you literally just connect to Twitter here, and then that will run through, you just authorize the app. And then it's just gonna have a, a quick look through and find out exactly you know, what your fake score is. And obviously you can do this as well with other accounts as well. So you, know, you might wanna check out your competition and see what their score is. Um, as you can see, my fake score is actually quite high. Uh, the average, just so you know, is 6%, so I'm just slightly above 6%, so I'm at 7% fake score. Um, I'm not going to worry too much about this. Um, you know, if I had something like you know, 50 60% fake, I'd be worrying about it. But also, if you've perhaps had another social media management company uh, that's been managing your account for you, and you've been thinking, hey, my figures are going really, really well, uh, but then you run your account through here, and you find out that you've got a fake score, what they might have done is gone on to something like fiverr.com uh, and you can actually buy a load of uh, a load of followers there but yes it makes your followers look good it makes you look like you're mr or mrs popular but at the end of the day you know what's the point you, you might as well have you know some really good quality people following you rather than higher numbers you know numbers is just vanity at the end of the day okay so the other thing i want to make sure i say so if you have a look at and see what your fake score is you can put any uh, name in here and you can just run that uh, that account through there so once again that's fakers.statuspeople.com Okay, so if you've got a high fake score, you can go through there and you can actually ban some people that are following you. Um, if I go onto my followers here, I can actually have a look. Oh, by the way, that um, this account here is actually is completely free of charge. If you want to find out exactly who is following you that is fake uh, and a load of other sort of analytics and stuff that you want from your account, you can actually upgrade and you can pay for that sort of thing and they can you can remove them there as well. Um, so if I go through and have a look at various different people that are following me, and if I say if I wanted to ban somebody, I'm just trying to have a look. Um, I'm just going to pick one at random. So uh, Jeff Noble, no idea. So if I just go here, uh, three little dots, okay, I can add or remove him from a list, but I can also block him uh, and report him if I think he is a fake account. Now, one way you can actually tell that someone is a fake account as well, if you're just looking at your followers and just want to have a quick look down, usually, let's see if I've got any here. Um, let's have a quick look. Okay, so I haven't got any that sort of stand out. So someone like this may be a fake account, okay? So A, they've not got um, any profile picture. They've certainly not gone any header. So if I have a quick look at this account, they've got a very, very strange account name. So it's not actually a person. Um, so he's retweeting a lot of my network. Okay, but actually, who is this person? There's no bio there. So, you know, that sounds to me, he's, only, he's following 91 people, he's only got five followers. That sounds to me that like it might be a fake account. If it is a fake account, I can ban them from actually following me by clicking those three little dots, come down to block, and then I can just block that person. Ta-da, all done. 
Okie dokie, that's me signing out for another week. So have a look at your fake score. How, what is your fake uh, fake score? Is it below 6%? If it is, I'll give you the big thumbs up. If it's higher, perhaps you need to do something about it. Okay, that's me signing out for another week. See you next time. Take care. Bye.